So I'm taking a house from, uh, break from home renovations to uh, do some more interesting stuff. Uh, I wanted to uh, build a new base for my pool table. Uh, so I made a pool table, um, uh, but it was just a, a flat one with pockets that you know you just reach in and grab the balls from. So uh, I want to build a, a base for it so it has ball return and stuff in it and separates the white ball out hopefully. Uh, so I got a couple of these. Um, sort of decent feet for the bottom of it uh, so you got a caster on it and we also got um, a stopper uh, that can be uh, oh, tops uh, that you can you know, lower down higher up so that should allow me to adjust the height on it as well too uh, <clears throat> now I don't know I think in the US there's the white ball might be larger but here in the UK um, it turns out most pool balls the uh, coloured balls are two inches in diameter and the white is uh, just slightly less, it's one and seven eighths apparently, uh, which is an eighth of an inch, one eighth of an inch is, so it's going to be about three millimetres difference between them, I think. Um, so i got to figure out a method of uh, separating these two, so uh, the actual ball return should be fairly simple. Uh, just funnel all six pockets into a big chute and chuck them down one, and angle the chute down one end of the table. That's fine, that gets them all into one place. Uh, then it's separating the smaller white ball. Uh, so I'm going to have a play here and see if I can come up with some way of doing it. Uh, so this is what I'm going to try first of all. Uh, I have some of these, uh, they're just uh, plastic uh, drawer runners uh, if you're making drawers um, so they're actually quite a hard wearing plastic uh, so I thought I might give these a try first so I'm going to screw these two uh, two bits of wood here uh, and then uh, hopefully I can set them at a separation so that uh, the colored ball uh, will roll over this but the white ball will drop through so uh, I'm going to give that a try first Okay, so I think I figured it out. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, on the bottom here, uh, I've got uh, a drawer runner screwed in on both sides. And then on the top of it, I have another drawer runner. Uh, this just got a three millimeter kind of separator, though it could be anything really. Uh, this is a very rough prototype of it. Obviously, I'll, I'll make a better one. Um, and then I've just got to drill the hole and cut out the, the bit at the end for slots. So, um, so the uh, coloured balls um, will roll down, uh, oh, let me put it in an angle, uh, so with a bit of an angle on it, uh, so the coloured ball will roll down and rolls past uh, over the top of the mechanism quite well. Um, but the white ball should hopefully go down this hole, so uh, so I think that's how I'm going to separate them. Uh, it seems to work relatively well. Um, I've tried it a few times; it seems to be pretty consistent. Uh, I'll obviously make a you know a better sort of uh, version of this, or I might make it with metal uh, bars, possibly. Uh, but it seems to be relatively simple as long as there's. Uh, just enough width here uh, to allow these to roll past but you know obviously the small light just drops in every time so uh, there we go uh, next video I'll try and do I'll start making the base for this